Fifty old truckers backside off that side, Bob Beck Lynch. I paid good money for that. Fifty quid fair and square. I'll cut your meat and two veg off if you don't move. Oh, calm down, Hilder. Think I'm scared of you, Hilder? You must be joking. Fuck off. You think I'm scared of giving a fella a good beating? Calm hey, down. Get off, you queer. Give her a smack, Stan. Two fellas in a fair fight, you said. Hey, don't touch her, Stan. All right, Jerry. I don't want any trouble. All I'd right. like to see you try, Oggy. We bought that fair and square, Stan. You tell her You now. knew it was worth more than 50 well, quid. Well, you didn't know, did you? Or she wouldn't have sold it to us for 50 fucking quid. You ripped me off, Hilda. I fucking did not. You fucking did. You should have had it valued before you sold it. Ah, well, you're not selling it. Right, Stan. You go fetch a copper. Oh, I don't know, Chuck. Oh, go myself. Hold on a minute, Hilda. We don't want to go bothering police with this, do we? Now you said you bought it off bet fair and square for 50 quid, am I right? Aye, fair and square. Bollocks! And anybody thrown a punch yet? I want a tub of your fairy friend, stop me! Well, me and Trisha came out for entertainment. Get on with it, will ya? Luke bet if you sold them it for 50 quid, it's theirs to do what they want with. Ah, oh, fuck off, Jerry. Give her a slap! I'll knock anyone who dares to lay a fucking finger on me. Luke, this isn't getting us anywhere, is it? Why don't we go to a devil's advocate, a third party adjudicator? A what? An unbiased opinion that can sort out what to do. Oh, piss off. Good for you, Wilder. Go drag that bruiser off your sideboard. She's a weak and feeble woman, Langton. Even with a pair of knackers, I could give her Stan a good shag. Right, let's have a look. Hey. Touch my bollocks, I'll fucking hey, kill you. Come on. Get hey, back it in. This is not very dignified, is it, ladies? What does that scrawny, flat-chested old hag know about dignity? Fuck have all. Have you two bitches got no consideration for anybody else? Every time I get involved in some sort of confrontation, I want to go to the toilet. And I've just wet my wife from having to separate you. Oh, so Jerry. You pack it don't be such an old woman. Let them fight it out. Fuck you. Right, I've had enough of this. Right, you. Come on, get down from there now. Get off right, me. Hey, you stop it. Off I'd me. shove my fist up your hey, ass if on. I didn't know it turned you on. Right, Langton, you keep your eye on this. Any antique dealer comes near it, you tell them to fuck off until I'm We're done. Going to roll, oh, get off me, Jerry. There was no acting there. She meant every fucking word. Oh, I don't you, think I did very much. Shut up, Jerry. Can you, you, so you play devil's advocate, please, and sort these two out? I've got pee dribbling down my bloody leg. Who saw her at my stand shake hands? I was just standing behind that. That's sorted. You told me to sell it to him, Betty. You were one who said they were a pair of mugs. I was standing behind bar minding my own business. Well, you didn't talk me out of You're it. You're the mug for selling it. Go fuck yourself. Yeah, it's so. You what? Have a proper fight. Oh, but I'm a lot of women fought bare-breasted. You need a magnifying glass to see hers. Is my bra's not full of old socks? What in God's name's going on here? She's trying to swindle me out of 500 quid. Oh, shut up, Hilda. A member of my staff brawling like one of the scrubbers employed by my Billy in his Accrington massage parlours. I won't tolerate this sort of behaviour in my pub, but I warn you but before. But she fucking... Never mind she fucking this or she fucking that. I've told you I will not have this kind of behaviour from members of my staff. If you want to behave like that, I'm sure there's a vacancy at one of Billy's massage parlours. If not, you can expect the toe of my slip-on shoe up the crack of your farmer's backside. You can't top that. Alright, Hilda, you can take that tatty old sideboard and you can stick it where the sun doesn't shine, alright? You mean I can have it? Right. You were all witnesses to this humiliation. In real life, I had a fucking chinder. Come on.